Welcome to Trans Literature Online. Today, we are going to be reviewing the book, The Last Time I Wore a Dress by Dylan Skolinski. This book is a, a memoir piece by Dylan Skolinski, a fantastic uh, transgender artist, when he tells about a period of his life during his teen years uh, when he was um, put into a, a mental hospital um, by, by his parents. And while he's there, the doctors attempt to treat him for a variety of different issues, um, but the one that certainly stands out to many readers and to which Skolinski really focuses the book is the degree to which the doctors were trying to correct um, the fact that he's transgender. And uh, in the process, attempts to have him practice various um, high femme activities um, and presentations as a way to correct um, his gender identity. The book does deal with a variety of um, uh, sensitive issues, including suicide, and uh, very much shines a light on uh, the, the past and the present ways that uh, different uh, hospitals, different um, practices of um, medicine or uh, in particular anti-trans um, brands of, of therapy attempt to treat transgender people as, as insane. I have taught this book in my classes and it is, is often a very, um, it, it instigates some very intense conversation um, and is a good way to talk about the history of medicine and um, various diagnoses, um, one of which is debunked, um, but represent in this book the gender identity disorder, which is no longer considered to be valid science, um, in contrast with uh, new diagnoses such as gender dysphoria and what relationship that has to the experiences of some trans people. This is um, a book that, because it's very much rooted um, in the experiences of Skolinski, allows uh, uh, teachers to bring in a variety of historical material, as well as to check in with how Skolinski is doing now and some of his um, recent work, and especially his visual art. Um, I often teach this in, um, in conjunction with um, other transgender visual artists, um, such as uh, Lily Elba, the book is relatively short and therefore is, is, a, is a quicker read than some, though the material is certainly um, very sensitive. And so it may be a, a, a book that you want to reread certain chapters. Now it's time for this book's grade. I give this book a, a 3.7 out of 5. I think it's a, a really powerful read. It's It can be very difficult in parts, but the... Um, the history, the personal experiences and testimony, and the um, sometimes poetic, um, while, while also very haunting images used throughout the book um, can be very um, touching. Thank you all for tuning in today. I um, look forward to more conversations with you in the future and keep on reading.